Hello guys and welcome to this quick blender tutorial this is not useful for grease pencil users only but for blender users in general who don't have a middle mouse button or who have the middle mouse button broken as it happened to me and stayed like weeks without it and what you need to do then is to enable the emulate three buttons mouse here in preferences inputs and you enable this one but then since this emulation uses the alt button so alt left click to rotate in the space like this and shift alt to pan like this in this case you can't use the alt button anymore for anything else for example here we have the fill tool and if i want to close this gap there is the boundary stroke that i can draw while selecting this bucket here and it uses the short key alt if i do alt left click of course it won't work the problem is that there is no alternative to draw the boundary stroke that i could find so the only solution is to disable emulate three mouse button temporarily draw your boundary stroke and then turn it on again but of course it takes too much time to go to preferences to disable it and then enable it again if you right click to create a shortcut there is nothing here for most other settings like here for example if you right click you can get a sign shortcut shortcut and assign a shortcut for that so that you can disable and enable quickly there is nothing like that here so we need to go to key map to create a shortcut so here under key map you can see all your shortcuts under these drop downs here and we need to go under window here so we open it and then we go down until we find this button here add new so we add new and we get this known entry here and here instead of known we need to type wm for window manager i think then dots and context and we get this one wm context toggle so we click on this one when we do that we get these fields here we don't need this one but this one is called context attributes and here we need to type the path to our setting the emulate three button setting for that we type first preferences and then dot and then input and it's actually input and not input it was very hard to me to find this path it's not obvious at all and then dot and here we need to type the last string for emulation use i think it's this one here it is emulate three buttons i found it so we just click on it and we have it you can't see the whole of it but I will write it on the screen and also in the description and now we just need to enter our shortcut here so make sure that your shortcut doesn't conflict with anything that you use a lot in blender we can go to key binding here and search for our shortcuts and see if it doesn't conflict i want to use shift alt e E for emulate and you see that this shortcut is used for something in pause mode i think it's called blend to neighbor i don't even know what it is so i guess it's not a shortcut that i need you can delete it and often it works without deleting the original so we go back let's delete this text here go back to our shortcut here we click here once we press a key that is e and then we enable here shift and alt so it will be shift alt e now you can save your preferences to save your shortcut let's hit save and go back and try our shortcut yes emulate 3 mouse button is enabled alt shift e and now we try to add a boundary stroke so alt left click and yes boundary stroke and now we can add the fill let's choose the material first here let's choose the color i like pink and voila and now we can disable it again by doing again alt shift e you can visualize it here preferences you go to inputs and you see our setting here alt shift e alt shift e and voila if you enable repeat let's try it with repeat so alt shift e and you keep it like this and you see it goes off and on off and on 
this is not something very useful so we just disable repeat here now you can turn off and on emulation very quickly and use the alt key for whatever you want to use it for i hope this makes your life easier folks without a middle mouse button or with a broken middle mouse button you may want to check my gumroad and buy anything from there to support the free content i'm making on this channel there is also free content there and every everything is connected to free tutorials on this channel so this is it thank you for watching see you in another video and peace